China is using Uyghur labor to produce face masks. Here's a summary of the article. A New York Times visual investigation has found that some of those companies are using Uyghur labor through a contentious government-sponsored program that experts say often puts people to work against their will. According to China's National Medical Products Administration, only four companies in Xinjiang produced medical-grade protective equipment before the pandemic. After reviewing state media reports and public records, the Times found that at least 17 of those companies participate in the labor transfer program. The companies produce equipment primarily for domestic use, but the Times identified several other companies outside Xinjiang that use Uyghur labor and export globally. We traced a shipment of face masks to a medical supply company in the U.S. state of Georgia from a factory in China's Hubei province, where more than 100 Uyghur workers had been sent. The Human Rights Investigations Lab at the University of California, Berkeley and the Uyghur Human Rights Project have both collected dozens of videos and social media reports that document the recent labor transfers. Quotas on the number of workers put into the labor program and the penalties faced by those who refuse to cooperate mean that participation is often, in effect, involuntary. This post received a score of 40,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Pandemic, concentration camps, killing foreign officials on foreign ground, financial crisis 2020 is just a greatest hits album of the 20th century. The concentration camps in Xinjiang aren't just a 2020 thing. Much like the original Holocaust the idea for it began well in advance, Hitler and the NASDP drew from the Union's Civil War POW camps, Britain's Boer extermination camps, Mexico's labor camp system and then Stalin's gulags. By the time Orkvitz opened there was at least 50 years of research supporting its operation, with each generation of camp becoming more and more efficient at creating compliance. China is the same way but with more money and explicit Western support. Companies are more than happy to sell products made by slaves because, unlike the 20th century, it's just assumed that Westerners are only valuable as consumers who only care about the price. We cannot forget the Armenian Genocide, where many Imperial German officers, soldiers witnessed the atrocities committed by their Ottoman allies. Many Germans were appalled by what they saw, but a few used it as a learning experience to more efficiently organize and execute the final solution. Interesting associations, especially considering Turkey still denies it happened. Can't forget about the atrocities that happened in the Congo Free State either. Very true. And human hair that was imported to the US, but caught and sent back. The treatment of the Uyghurs has been horrendous skeptical smiley face. The human hair trade in general is hard to justify ethically if you look at where the hair comes from. If you look too hard at just about any industry you can find something unethical. All I need to say is palm oil. I think the rise in social consciousness will cause some cognitive dissonance for some time. At least until the corporations are forced to get their act together globally. Or until people learn to never spend their money? Not likely. It's easier to find products that benefit off of someone being taken advantage of than products that are fair 100% of the way. Everything manufactured cuts corners somewhere. It's usually off the back of developing countries which benefits the corporations and wealthy. Quotas on the number of workers put into the labor program and the penalties faced by those who refuse to cooperate mean that participation is often, in effect, involuntary. There are these coercive quotas that cause people to be put into factory work when they don't want to be, said Amy K. Lair, the director of the Human Rights Initiative at the Center for Strategic and International Studies and that could be considered forced labor under international law. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.